In Blood in the Water, The Attica Prison Uprising of 1971 and Its Legacy, by Heather and Thompson, the author delves deep into the tragic events surrounding the Attica Prison Uprising of 1971. Through meticulous research and extensive interviews, Thompson unravels the complex web of political, social, and racial dynamics that led to this pivotal moment in American history and examines its enduring legacy. One of the central themes explored in the book is the profound injustice and inhumanity that festered within the American penal system during the 1970s. Thompson paints a vivid picture of the deplorable conditions at Attica, where overcrowding, inadequate medical care, and racial tensions simmered beneath the surface. The author highlights how these conditions contributed to the explosive uprising, as the prisoners, driven to desperation, sought to bring attention to their plight and demand basic human rights. Thompson's narrative is not solely focused on the events within Attica prison but also places them within the broader context of the civil rights movement and the political climate of the era. She skillfully weaves together the stories of the prisoners, the Attica administration, and the government officials, providing readers with a comprehensive understanding of the circumstances that culminated in the uprising. This contextualization is crucial in appreciating the depth and complexity of the Attica tragedy. The racial dimension of the Attica uprising is a recurring motif in the book. Thompson highlights how the racial composition of the prison population played a significant role in shaping the prisoners' experiences and grievances. African American and Hispanic inmates, who formed the majority, faced systemic discrimination, both inside and outside the prison walls. The book underscores the broader struggle for civil rights and racial equality in America during this period, drawing parallels between the prisoners' demands and the broader societal quest for justice. Thompson also sheds light on the role of the media in shaping public perception of the Attica uprising. Through extensive research, she demonstrates how the media sensationalized the events, often portraying the prisoners as violent criminals and the authorities as heroes. This biased reporting had a significant impact on the public's understanding of the situation, making it even more challenging for the prisoners to gain sympathy for their cause. The most harrowing section of the book recounts the brutal retaking of Attica by law enforcement, which resulted in the deaths of numerous inmates and hostages. Thompson meticulously details the chaos and violence that unfolded during this operation, painting a grim picture of the excessive force used by the authorities. Her account is a stark reminder of the human cost of the government's response and the failure to find a peaceful resolution. Throughout Blood in the Water, Thompson emphasizes the enduring legacy of the Attica uprising. She argues that the events at Attica had a profound impact on American society, influencing the way prisons are managed and how issues of racial justice are perceived. The book compellingly argues that Attica was not an isolated incident but rather a turning point in the struggle for prison reform and civil rights. In conclusion, Heather and Thompson's Blood in the Water is a powerful and meticulously researched account of the Attica prison uprising of 1971. The book provides a comprehensive analysis of the events leading up to the uprising, the complex dynamics involved, and the lasting impact on American society. Through her narrative, Thompson forces readers to confront the harsh realities of the American penal system and the ongoing fight for justice and equality. It serves as a stark reminder that the lessons of Attica continue to resonate in today's discussions about incarceration, race, and civil rights.